The Georgian scripts are the three writing systems used to write the Georgian language, Asamtavruli, Nushori and Makadruli. Although the systems differ in appearance, all three are unicase, their letters share the same names and alphabetical order, and are written horizontally from left to right. Of the three scripts, Makadruli, once the civilian royal script of the Kingdom of Georgia and mostly used for the royal charters, is now the standard script for modern Georgian and its related Kartvelian languages, whereas Asamtavruli and Nushori are used only by the Georgian Orthodox Church. In ceremonial religious texts and iconography, Georgian scripts are unique in their appearance and their exact origin has never been established. However, in strictly structural terms, their alphabetical order largely corresponds to the Greek alphabet, with the exception of letters denoting uniquely Georgian sounds, which are grouped at the end. Originally consisting of 38 letters, Georgian is presently written in a 33-letter alphabet, as five letters are currently obsolete in that language. The number of Georgian letters used in other Kartvelian languages varies. Mingrelian uses 36 to 33 that are current Georgian letters, one obsolete Georgian letter, and two additional letters specific to Mingrelian and Svan. Laz uses the same 33 current Georgian letters as Mingrelian plus that same obsolete letter and a letter borrowed from Greek for a total of 35. The fourth Kartvelian language, Svan, is not commonly written, but when it is, it uses Georgian letters as utilized in Mingrelian, with an additional obsolete Georgian letter and sometimes supplemented by diacritics for its many vowels. Georgian scripts were granted the national status of intangible cultural heritage in Georgia in 2015 and inscribed on the UNESCO representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2016. Preview Origins The origin of the Georgian script is poorly known, and no full agreement exists among Georgian and foreign scholars as to its date of creation, who designed the script, and the main influences on that process. The first version of the script attested is Asamtavruli which dates back at least to the 5th century, the other scripts were formed in the following centuries. Most scholars link the creation of the Georgian script to the process of Christianization of Iberia not to be confused with the Iberian Peninsula, a core Georgian kingdom of Kartli. The alphabet was therefore most probably created between the conversion of Iberia under King Mirian III 326 or 337 and the Bir el Kut inscriptions of 430, contemporaneously with the Armenian alphabet. It was first used for translation of the Bible and other Christian literature into Georgian, by monks in Georgia and Palestine. Professor Levan Chalashvili's dating of fragmented Asamtavruli inscriptions, discovered by him at the ruined town of Nekrezi, in Georgia's easternmost province of Kakheti, in the 1980s, to the 1st or 2nd century has not been accepted, a Georgian tradition first attested in the medieval chronicle Lives of the Kings of Kartli ca. 800, assigns a much earlier, pre-Christian origin to the Georgian alphabet, and names King Farnavas I 3rd century BC as its inventor. This account is now considered legendary, and is rejected by scholarly consensus, as no archaeological confirmation has been found. Rapp considers the tradition to be an attempt by the Georgian church to rebut the earlier tradition that the alphabet was invented by the Armenian scholar Mesrop Mashtots, and is a Georgian application of an Iranian model in which primordial kings are credited with the creation of basic social institutions. Georgian linguist Tomas Gamkrelidze offers an alternate interpretation of the tradition, in the pre-Christian use of foreign scripts alloglottography in the Aramaic alphabet to write down Georgian texts. Another point of contention among scholars is the role played by Armenian clerics in that process. According to a number of scholars and medieval Armenian sources, Mesrop Mashtots, generally acknowledged as the creator of the Armenian alphabet, also created the Georgian and Caucasian Albanian alphabets. This tradition originates in the works of Corian, a 5th century historian and biographer of Mashtots, and has been quoted by Donald Rayfield and James R. Russell, but has been criticized by scholars, both Georgian and Western, who judge the passage in Corian unreliable or even a later interpolation. Other scholars quote Corian's claims without taking a stance on its validity. Many agree, however, that Armenian clerics, if not Mashtots himself, must have played a role in the creation of the Georgian script. Another controversy regards the main influences at play in the Georgian alphabet, as scholars have debated whether it was inspired more by the Greek alphabet, or by Semitic alphabets such as Aramaic. 
Recent historiography focuses on greater similarities with the Greek alphabet than in the other Caucasian writing systems, most notably the order and numeric value of letters. Some scholars have also suggested certain pre-Christian Georgian cultural symbols or clan markers as a possible inspiration for particular letters. Asamtavruli Asamtavruli Georgian, Asamtavruli Georgian pronunciation, SMT Vruli is the oldest Georgian script. The name Asamtavruli means, capital letters, from ASO, a letter, and Mtavari, Mtavari principal, head. It is also known as MRG Vlovani, Georgian, Mrglovani, rounded, from MRG Valley, Mrglovani, round, so named because of its round letter shapes. Despite its name, this capital script is unicameral, just like the modern Georgian script, Makadruli. The oldest Asamtavruli inscriptions found so far date from the 5th century and are Bir el Kut and the Bolnisi inscriptions. From the 9th century, Nushori script starting becoming dominant, and the role of Asamtavruli was reduced. However, epigraphic monuments of the 10th to 18th centuries continued to be written in Asamtavruli script. Asamtavruli in this later period became more decorative. In the majority of 9th century Georgian manuscripts which were written in Nushori script, Asamtavruli was used for titles and the first letters of chapters. Although, some manuscripts written completely in Asamtavruli can be found until the 11th century. <laughs> Form of Asamtavruli letters In early Asamtavruli, the letters are of equal height. Georgian historian and philologist Pavla Ingarokva believes that the direction of Asamtavruli, like that of Greek, was initially boustrophedon, though the direction of the earliest surviving texts is from left to the right. In most Asamtavruli letters, straight lines are horizontal or vertical and meet at right angles. The only letter with acute angles is J Yani. There have been various attempts to explain this exception. Georgian linguist and art historian Helen Machavariani believes Yanni derives from a monogram of Christ, composed of the i ini and k kani. According to Georgian scholar Ramaz Pateridze, the cross like shape of letter Yanni indicates the end of the alphabet, and has the same function as the similarly shaped Phoenician letter ta, Greek chi, chi and Latin x, though these letters do not have that function in Phoenician, Greek, or Latin. Coins of Queen Tamar of Georgia and King George IV of Georgia minted using a Samtavruli script, 1200–1210 AD. From the 7th century, the forms of some letters began to change. The equal height of the letters was abandoned, with letters acquiring ascenders and descenders. <laughs> Asamtavruli illumination In Nushori manuscripts, Asamtavruli are used for titles and illuminated capitals. The latter were used at the beginnings of paragraphs which started new sections of text. In the early stages of the development of Nushori texts, Asamtavruli letters were not elaborate and were distinguished principally by size and sometimes by being written in cinnabar ink. Later, from the 10th century, the letters were illuminated. The style of Asamtavruli capitals can be used to identify the era of a text. For example, in the Georgian manuscripts of the Byzantine era, when the styles of the Byzantine Empire influenced Kingdom of Georgia, capitals were illuminated with images of birds and other animals. Decorative Asamtavruli capital letters, MM, NN, and T, T, 12 to 13 th century. From the 11th century, limb flowery, limb arrowy, and limb spotty decorative forms of Asamtavruli are developed. The first two are found in 11th and 12th century monuments, whereas the third one is used until the 18th century. Importance was attached also to the color of the ink itself. A Samtavruli letter D is often written with decoration effects of fish and birds. The curly decorative form of a Samtavruli is also used where the letters are waddled or intermingled on each other, or the smaller letters are written inside other letters. It was mostly used for the headlines of the manuscripts or the books, although there are compete inscriptions which were written in the Asamtavruli curly form only. The title of Gospel of Matthew in Asamtavruli curly decorative form. Topic: <laughs> Handwriting of Asamtavruli. 
The following table shows the stroke order and direction of each Asamtavruli letter. Nushori Georgian, Nushori Georgian pronunciation, Nushkjuri is the second Georgian script. The name Nushori comes from Nuska, Nuska meaning inventory or schedule. Nushori was soon augmented with Asamtavruli illuminated capitals in religious manuscripts. The combination is called Kitsuri Georgian, Kitsuri clerical, from Kutsesi, Kutsesi cleric. And it was principally used in hagiography. Nushori first appeared in the 9th century as a graphic variant of Asamtavruli. The oldest inscription is found in the Ateni Sioni church and dates to 835 AD. The oldest surviving Nushori manuscripts date to 864 AD. Nushori becomes dominant over Asamtavruli from the 10th century. <laughs> Form of Nushori letters Nushori letters vary in height, with ascenders and descenders, and are slanted to the right. Letters have an angular shape, with a noticeable tendency to simplify the shapes they had in Asamtavruli. This enabled faster writing of manuscripts. Asamtavruli letters O -oni and Ui -vi. A ligature of these letters produced a new letter in Nushori, U Uni. Note, without proper font support, you may see question marks, boxes or other symbols instead of Nushori letters. Handwriting of Nushori The following table shows the stroke order and direction of each Nushori letter. Use of Asamtavruli and Nushori today Asamtavruli is used intensively in iconography, murals, and exterior design, especially in stone engravings. Georgian linguist Akaki Shanidze made an attempt in the 1950s to introduce Asamtavruli into the Makadruli script as capital letters to begin sentences, as in the Latin script, but it did not catch on. Asamtavruli and Nushori are officially used by the Georgian Orthodox Church alongside Makadruli. Patriarch Ilya II of Georgia called on people to use all three Georgian scripts. Makadruli Makadruli Georgian, Makadruli Georgian pronunciation, Mxdruli is the third and current Georgian script. Makadruli, literally meaning cavalry or military, derives from Makadari, Makadari meaning horseman, knight, warrior, and cavalier. Makadruli is bicameral, with capital letters that are called Makadruli Mtavruli, Makadruli Mtavruli or simply Mtavruli, Mtavruli Georgian pronunciation, Mount Vruli. Nowadays, Mtavruli is typically used in all caps text in titles or to emphasize a word, though in the late 19th and early 20th centuries it was occasionally used, as in Latin and Cyrillic scripts, to capitalize proper nouns or the first word of a sentence. Makadruli first appears in the 10th century. The oldest Makadruli inscription is found in Ateni Sioni Church dating back to 982 AD. The second oldest Makadruli written text is found in the 11th century royal charters of King Bagrat IV of Georgia. Makadruli was mostly used then in the Kingdom of Georgia for the royal charters, historical documents, manuscripts and inscriptions. Makadruli was used for non-religious purposes only and represented the civil, royal, and secular. Script Makadruli became more and more dominant over the two other scripts, though Kitsuri Nushori with Asamtavruli was used until the 19th century. Makadruli became the universal writing Georgian system outside of the church in the 19th century with the establishment and development of printed Georgian fonts. Topic: <laughs> Form of Makadruli letters. Makadruli inscriptions of the 10th and 11th centuries are characterized in rounding of angular shapes of Nushori letters and making the complete outlines in all of its letters. Makadruli letters are written in the four linear system, similar to Nushori. Makadruli becomes more round and free in writing. It breaks the strict frame of the previous two alphabets, Asamtavruli and Nushori. 
Makadruli letters begin to get coupled and more free calligraphy develops. Example of one of the oldest Makadruli written texts found in the Royal Charter of King Bagrat IV of Georgia, 11th century. Gurgan, king, of kings, great grandfather, of mine, Bagrat Kurapalats. Coin of Queen Tamar of Georgia in Makadruli, 1187 AD. Modern Georgian alphabet The modern Georgian alphabet consists of 33 letters. <laughs> letters removed from the Georgian alphabet The Society for the Spreading of Literacy Among Georgians, founded by Prince Ilya Chavachavadze in 1879, discarded five letters from the Georgian alphabet that had become redundant. He, sometimes called A or E Merv, eighth E, was equivalent to EA, as in Christ tilde Christ Christi Christ. HIE, also called IOTA, appeared instead of I inni after a vowel, but came to have the same pronunciation as I inni and was replaced by it. Thus Christ tilde Christ Christi Christ, is now written Christ Christe. Ui vi came to be pronounced the same as VV and was replaced by that sequence, as in Skusi greater than SKHVC SKHVC others. Q Kari, Hari came to be pronounced the same as Kach Kani, and was replaced by it. E.g. Kjumsipe became Kelmsipe, sovereign. Ho was used for the interjection hoi, and is now spelled hoi, all but ho continue to be used in the Svan alphabet. H.I.E. is used in the Mingrelian and Laz alphabets as well, for the Y sound, J. Several others were used for Abakaz and Ossetian in the short time they were written in Makadruli script. Letters added to other alphabets Makadruli has been adapted to languages besides Georgian. Some of these alphabets retained letters obsolete in Georgian, while others required additional letters. Phi, phi is used in Laz and Svan, and formerly in Ossetian and Abkhazian. It derives from the Greek letter phi, phi. shva shwa. Also called Yn, is used for the schwa sound in Svan and Mingrelian, and formerly in Ossetian and Abkhazian. Elifi, Aleph, is used in for the glottal stop in Svan and Mingrelian. It is a reversed Q. Kuri. Turned Ghani was once used for in evangelical literature in Dagestanian languages. Modifier NAR is used in bats. It nasalizes the preceding vowel. Aini. Ain is occasionally used for in bats. It derives from the Arabic letter ain. Aen was used in the Ossetian language when it was written in the Georgian script. It was pronounced hard sign was used in Abakaz for velarization of the preceding consonant. Labial sign was used in Abakaz for labialization of the preceding consonant. Topic. Handwriting of Makadruli The following table shows the stroke order and direction of each Makadruli letter. Zo and Kach zeni, oni, kani, are almost always written without the small tick at the end, while the handwritten form of J yani often uses a vertical line, sometimes with a taller ascender, or with a diagonal cross bar. Even when it is written at a diagonal, the cross bar is generally shorter than in print. Only four letters are x height, with neither ascenders nor descenders. A T I 13 have ascenders, like B or D in English. B Z M N P R S Shish C H D S T S K H H an equal number have descenders, like P or Q in English. G D E V K L Z H T U P G H Q T S three letters have both ascenders and descenders, like in Old English K C H and in handwriting J T S has both ascender and descender in print, and sometimes in handwriting. Topic <laughs> variation. There is individual and stylistic variation in many of the letters. 
For example, the top circle of Z and the top stroke of R may go in the other direction than shown in the chart that is, counterclockwise starting at 3 o'clock, and upwards, see the external link section for videos of people writing. Other common variants G Gani may be written like V with a closed loop at the bottom D Dani is frequently written with a simple loop at top K T's and D's Kani, Sani, D Zili are generally written with straight, vertical lines at the top, so that for example T's Sani resembles a U with a dimple in the right side L Lassi is frequently written with a single arc, even when all three are written, they're generally not all the same size, as they are in print, but rather writing on one wide arc like two dimples in it. Rarely, O Oni is written as a right angle R Ray is frequently written with one arc, like a Latin H T Terry often has a small circle with a tail hanging into the bowl, rather than two small circles as in print, or as an O with a straight vertical line intersecting the top. It may also be rotated a bit clockwise, with the small circles further to the right and not as close to the top. T Sealy is generally written with a round bowl at the bottom. Another variation features a triangular bowl. Ch Chaari may be written without the hook at the top, and often with a completely straight vertical line. He may be written without the loop, like a conflation of S and H. J Yani is sometimes written so that it looks like a hooked version of the Latin X. Topic: <laughs> Similar letters. Several letters are similar and may be confused at first, especially in handwriting. For V and K the critical difference is whether the top is a full arc or a more or less vertical line. For V and G it is whether the bottom is an open curve or closed a loop. The same is true of U and SH in handwriting, the tops may look the same. Similarly S and K for K and P the crucial difference is whether the letter is written below or above X height, and whether it's written top down or bottom up. D's D Zili is written with a vertical top. <laughs> Ligatures, abbreviations and calligraphy A somtavruli is often highly stylized and writers readily formed ligatures, intertwined letters, and placed letters within letters or other such monograms. A ligature of the Asamtavruli initials of King Vakhtang I of Iberia, GNGN. A ligature of the Asamtavruli letters, da da, and Nushori, like Asamtavruli, is also often highly stylized. Writers readily formed ligatures and abbreviations for nomina sacra, including diacritics called karagma, which resemble titla. Because writing materials such as vellum were scarce and therefore precious, abbreviating was a practical measure widespread in manuscripts and hagiography by the 11th century. A nushori abbreviation of remeli, remeli which A nushori abbreviation of Iesu Christ, Iesu Christ Jesus Christ Makadruli, in the 11th to 17th centuries also came to employ digraphs to the point that they were obligatory, requiring adherence to a complex system. A Makadruli ligature of da, da and Makadruli calligraphy of Prince Garsavan Chavachavadze and King Archil of Imereti. Typefaces <inaudible> <inaudible> Georgian scripts come in only a single typeface, the word processors can apply automatic, fake, oblique and bold formatting to Georgian text. Traditionally, a somtavruli was used for chapter or section titles, where Latin script might use bold or italic type. Punctuation <inaudible> 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 In Asamtavruli and Nushori punctuation, various combinations of dots were used as word dividers and to separate phrases, clauses, and paragraphs. In monumental inscriptions and manuscripts of 5th to 10th centuries, these were written as dashes, like minus. And Minus 
In the 10th century, clusters of one, two smiley face, three and six dots later sometimes small circles were introduced by Ephraim M. T. Sire to indicate increasing breaks in the text. One dot indicated a minor stop, presumably a simple word break, two dots marked or separated special words, three dots for a bigger stop, such as the a positive name and title, the Sovereign Alexander below, or the title of the Gospel of Matthew, above, and six dots were to indicate the end of the sentence. Starting in the 11th century, marks resembling the apostrophe and comma came into use. An apostrophe was used to mark an interrogative word, and a comma appeared at the end of an interrogative sentence. From the 12th century on, these were replaced with the semicolon the Greek question mark. In the 18th century, Patriarch Anton I of Georgia reformed the system again, with commas, single dots, and double dots used to mark complete, incomplete, and final sentences, respectively. For the most part, Georgian today uses the punctuation as in international usage of the Latin script. Signature of King Alexander II of Kakheti, with the divider Kyumsipe Alexander, the Sovereign Alexander. Topic. Summary This table lists the three scripts in parallel columns, including the letters that are now obsolete in all alphabets shown with a blue background, obsolete in Georgian but still used in other alphabets green background, or additional letters in languages other than Georgian pink background. .The national transliteration is the system used by the Georgian government, whereas LAS is the Latin LAS alphabet used in Turkey. The table also shows the traditional numeric values of the letters. Topic: Use for other non-Kartvelian languages. Ossetian language until the 1940s. Abkhaz language until the 1940s. Ingush language historically later replaced in the 17th century by Arabic and by the Cyrillic script in modern times. Chechen language historically, later replaced in the 17th century by Arabic and by the Cyrillic script in modern times. Avar language historically, later replaced in the 17th century by Arabic and by the Cyrillic script in modern times. Turkish language and Azerbaijani language. A Turkish gospel, dictionary, poems, medical book dating from the 18th century. Persian language. The 18th-century Persian translation of the Arabic Gospel is kept at the National Center of Manuscripts in Tbilisi. Armenian language. In the Armenian community in Tbilisi, the Georgian script was occasionally used for writing Armenian in the 18th and 19th centuries, and some samples of this kind of texts are kept at the Georgian National Center of Manuscripts in Tbilisi. Russian language. In the collections of the National Center of Manuscripts in Tbilisi there are also a few short poems in the Russian language written in Georgian script dating from the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Other Northeast Caucasian languages. The Georgian script was used for writing North Caucasian and Dagestani languages in connection with Georgian missionary activities in the areas starting in the 18th century. Old Avar crosses with Avar inscriptions in a Samtavruli script. Topic. Computing Topic. Unicode The first Georgian script was included in Unicode Standard in October, 1991 with the release of version 1.0. In creating the Georgian Unicode block, important roles were played by German Joost Gippert, a linguist of Kartvelian studies, and American-Irish linguist and script encoder Michael Everson, who created the Georgian Unicode for the Macintosh systems. Significant contributions were also made by Anton Dumbadze and Irakli Garibashvili not to be mistaken with the former Prime Minister of Georgia Irakli Garibashvili. Georgian Makadruli script received an official status for being Georgia's internationalized domain name script for Gi Mtavruli letters were added in Unicode version 11.0 in June 2018. They are capital letters with similar letterforms to Makadruli, but with descenders shifted above the baseline, with a wider central oval, and with the top slightly higher than the ascender height. Before this addition, font creators included Mtavruli in various ways. 
Some fonts came in pairs, of which one had lowercase letters and the other uppercase. Some Unicode fonts placed Mtavruli letter forms in the Asamtavruli range U U cf or in the private use area, and some ASCII-based ones mapped them to the ASCII capital letters. Topic: <laughs> Blocks. Georgian characters are found in three Unicode blocks. The first block U U is simply called Georgian. Makadruli modern Georgian occupies the U D O U FF range shown in the bottom half of the first table below and Asamtavruli occupies the U U CF range shown in the top half of the same table. The second block is the Georgian supplement U U F and it contains Nushori. Mtavruli capitals are included in the Georgian extended block U +1 C90 U +1 CBF. Mtavruli is defined as the upper case, but not title case, of Makadruli, and Asamtavruli as the upper case and title case of Nushori. Non-Unicode applications There is no non-Unicode character encoding for Georgian, which prevents non-Unicode applications from being able to support the Georgian script. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Keyboard layouts. Below is the standard Georgian language keyboard layout, the traditional layout of manual typewriters. Topic: <inaudible> Gallery Gallery of Asamtavruli, Nushori and Makadruli scripts Gallery of Asamtavruli Gallery of Nushori equals 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 gallery of macadruly